Hard-nosed guards on the outside for New Hampshire. Rodney Purvis right back for Connecticut. There's Rodney Purvis again, man. That stroke is really sweet. There's Rodney Purvis with the shot clock winding down from way down. To Rodney Purvis lines it up. Rodney Purvis, another three in the second half. The shot clock is at 10. Rodney Purvis from the left wing. Rodney Purvis rattles it in there. He's now got 18 points. He's made five threes in the game. He tied a career high now. Nicky Boyle's been a big factor on the glass. Two seconds on the shot clock. Put up no good. Follow-up is good. Staying with it, Rodney Purvis. Rebound is cleared out by Miller. Purvis down the lane. And we're tied at 12. And here comes UConn running. Gibbs has some numbers. Gives it over. Beautiful pass. And finishing it off is Rodney Purvis. Purvis picked up by Levert. Takes it all the way in. Nice move on Miller. Down the lane. Hamilton the steal. Gives it ahead to Purvis for the jam. Today afternoon, Jay, what are you looking for in the final today? Just two really good teams. Good move by Rodney Purvis and a good finish. He's absolutely an NBA player on the offensive end. I mean, he's a legit 6'10". There's a uh, Purvis, and it's to go. Zaka has led by as many as 21, but here comes UConn. Really at his best every way. Attitude-wise, playing-wise, and he's responding. There has been... Purvis gets back from Bryman, then launches a three and knocks it in. They need him to make threes. A little more aggressive. He certainly was out of the gate. Purvis for three. Massachusetts. A.J. Harris on the floor. Playing Adams and get up on him. Purvis now set up for the dribble drive. There with a flash. Oh, then he turns it over. Tate throws it to Purvis. Attacking and finishing with authority. What a read. An awful lot of nice things. He just reads, anticipates. And how about this? Number 44. Ouch. Purvis again, screen from Brima. Takes the fadeaway J and Purvis at the rim on the perimeter. Uh, Emerging. No. <laughs> nice. Purvis to Miller. That's a response from Brima. Yeah. That's solid. And Miller responding. It's UNLV. And then do you have that one? Yes. No wonder you promoted. Yeah, exactly. That's his freshman year at NC State. And there is Purvis with the takeaway. And the layup for two. Rodney Purvis. My man Nick Moore, one of the most underrated point guards in the country, dropped in 23. Oh, you see that Euro step? Back inside, gets it rejected. Purvis. Back to back buckets for Rodney Purvis. Get into the basket. Purvis a launch and hit. Rodney Purvis, huge threes, got 14. Gibbs is, you got to know where Purvis is. Purvis, he's a scorer. He yep. scored nine of their last 11. Tonight for Hamilton, Purvis trying to find his shot and does. Trying to get it to six, left it short. He's one of six on the night. Purvis wide open for three. And immediately a timeout taken by Ed Conroy. Kane Harris way off the mark. And fast break again. It's Purvis out in transition. And the foul. And playing the two-man game with Gibbs. It's Purvis. Still hot in the second half. The three on UConn's first possession. Now Purvis drives and scores. Stop the transition because that's when this place gets crazy. Purvis will help him get crazy too if he continues to eat up. He's got Here's Purvis for three more. You bet. Rodney Purvis, red hot to start this one. Gibbs wide open in the corner is Purvis. And he knocks it down. Big shot. Shot blocker in college basketball, 121 of those for Brima. A fading three for Purvis. Memphis attacked, got to the rack, couldn't finish. Purvis for three. He puts UConn at two and one in conference play. Purvis takes it away, all by himself! 
I know it's like Buddy Heald range, but they've got to push that defense out a little bit. Speaking of range, how about that yeah. from Purvis? Purvis. Got it, and the foul. Connecticut goes to their version of the 1-2-2. Two, two. Nice step in there. They get a layup down the other end. Hamilton the flip, and Purvis the throwdown. He's coming into his own offensively. Enriquez lost it, Purvis. The strip and the run out. Adams floats and converts the freshman. Perfect in transition. Got to pay homage to Pete. You know, there's a steal again. Purvis, strip, steal, run out, layup. Wow. Anticipation on D. Purvis for three. Buries it. He was looking to take somebody with him on this. Oh. Purvis, long two, and he got it. Oh. Purvis wants it back and got it for three, yes. Purvis on the run, this is where he excels. It was wide open, didn't take it, now he will. And make it was wide open. Purvis on the run out, got it. Jeff yesterday, pretty easy win, 79-62. Purvis again, rips the nets, and another three for him. Trying to operate here. Long jumper from the corner, knocked in by Purvis. Gordon does the right thing. Oh, it's Purvis. Going to take it uncontested. And Cole dealt with this is just terrific organization. Great organization indeed, getting out of transition. Now, this is a very tough offensive team. Lonovan Lucas has solidified the nice denial. Purvis. Off to D. Generally, it's a shot block or a rush shot. To the paint. They keep Fine. cutting them off, but he finds the man in the corner. Three is good by Purvis. That's what they're looking for. They want to drive at a guy as well and look for some back cuts. Three points with eight-year-olds is enough to win. <laughs> I guess not with Tracy. <laughs> Good forceful drive. And Purvis. A little kiss. Mm, not a good handle. There. On the floor, coming out with it is Purvis. And flushes it down. And from 24 to 9, the deficit has been reduced dramatically. It's a nine point game with nine and a half to play. How about the open floor? Send it in, number 44. Woo! Tough attack in the ten. Kansas in six minutes. And here's Brendan Green. And right there, Purvis took Ellis move. He Driving did. left, spinning with the hook. Well, he's right in the over attack him. mode, Jim. Amazing.